Welcome to day 18 of Advent, where as you can see, I am inside warm and snug next to a beautiful fire. And I'm actually at my aunt and uncle's house in England. And they've offered to give us a little tour of their house. Whilst I have made a little video here for my patrons before, I've never shown it on the main Chateau Diaries channel. And it is an absolutely magnificent house. And one of the main reasons that I'm happy to be showing it to you is, well, A, it is magnificently decorated for Christmas. I can see the Christmas tree from here, but I won't be showing it to you just yet. And B, I want to show you just what my cousin Amory is capable of, because you all know how incredible his carpentry is now that you've seen the Marquis Salon where he's done amazing wood panelling. So I think many people think of him as just a carpenter. In fact, he can do all sorts of building, but he specialises in carpentry. So before I reveal this incredibly beautiful house to you, and we can go through and have a little Christmas party with my aunt and uncle, I am going to show you some before shots of what it looked like when my my aunt and uncle bought it many, many years ago. So they were the before shots, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to show you what it looks like now. So if you just glance that way, you will see the entrance hall and the Christmas tree. And I don't know about you, but for me, walking into this house is like stepping into a Christmas movie. I cannot imagine a more perfect Christmas entrance hall than this one. My aunt and uncle know how to decorate. And after seeing those photos, you can see just how hard all of them, but especially Amory, worked to create this. He made the staircase himself and the beautiful mezzanine that links the two upstairs rooms here, leaving this huge double storey space in the entrance hall. If we go through this way, there's the dining room with another room above that we'll see later. So this is the dining room. Now this is a Christmas dining room, but we're not having our nibbles in here. We're gonna go and meet my aunt and uncle. They're waiting for us at the top of the stairs in the salon. I think that there might be a little drink waiting for us up here for the This looks incredible. Uh, this is for you, uh, of course. Thank you. There we are, Philly. Oh, a glass of beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful. And we have a few nibbles before our main meal. Oh, is that a pork pie I see? It is a mulberry pork yes, pie. Yeah. Oh, you've got and the plate. A pork pie on a cocktail <laughs> stick. <laughs> My life is complete. Happy girls party <laughs> comes back to haunt us. Can you tell me more about how you bought this and what made you take on such a derelict farm to turn into your beautiful home? Well, it was a bit of a misunderstanding. <laughs> we were looking for a property around and we couldn't find anything it was becoming harder and harder and one day i saw in the local newspaper an advert for an auction about this plot of land with a derelict barn on it and i said well brilliant we should go for it so we went to the auction and we were of the oh, successful uh, buyer yeah and uh, coming back to celebrate and uh, with Amory, of course, the three of us. And I said, well, so when are we going to bring it down and then be able to build the house which we wanted to build? And Stephen looked at me and said, Chantal, didn't you realize it's a great two-listed building? We oh, cannot do anything. We have to put it back as it is. Um, and I couldn't believe it. And the nightmare started. Yeah. But there were fun nightmares. Well, <laughs> we had at one point the whole building up on hydraulic rams oh. so we could knock all the brickwork underneath. Um, Be open, deep. Take, take out all of the, found, uh, the, uh, the gravel and dirt underneath to put down a damp proof course and then uh, hardcore and then um, the pipes for the underfloor heating build the brick walls again and then after two Insulate. weeks bring yeah bring the house back down it and was... oh and the the planning officer came from ipswich and said i do hope we don't have a storm when it's up <laughs> on stilts oh my goodness because it, if it falls over you've got to rebuild it as it was the wreck and then there were, there were problems with the mute oh. we didn't realize we were in a 
newt infested <laughs> area with the three ponds around. Survey after Six survey. Six months of surveys. But the worst were the newts. Yes. The newts took such a long time mm. to... We built to them a hotel huh. between two of the ponds, about 100 yards, 100 metres down from this main pond. We have a hotel for newts. So they were protected? Oh, they're protected. Oh, they are protected. There aren't very many newts at the time we were, in, we were mm -hmm. inside Europe. There aren't very many newts in Milan or Barcelona, but there are millions, millions in Suffolk. Yeah. In Suffolk, the yeah. <laughs> Every You stick a stick in a, in a muddy pond and out pots a newt. They're everywhere. So you could say that they were a nuisance. They were. They were an expensive, yes. but we... We did everything was, we built houses for the, the bats, uh, yes, the owls. Yes, yes. We had to build some sort of purchase in yes. the eaves for the bats. Oh, it was, but that's it, before it was we could build a house love. for us. A labour of love. Mm. And we were living in a mobile home. Yes. Although it was a very luxurious mobile home. We had a chandelier <laughs> and we had uh, a big awning and we, huge big fridge freezer full of champagne <laughs> because we, it was a one way of getting through the day <laughs> think, oh, we'll have a glass of champagne tonight <laughs> or a glass of white wine yes. yeah. well, well with Amory we did so much work I mean the three you worked hours. so hard completely mm. I mean from morning to night yes. in this room alone didn't yes. you have to hand plane every single piece of every parquet every little piece of parquet yeah. <laughs> it's a reclaim all reclaimed parquet and it had a sickness of tar so so important we i think we did 20 or 25 passes just to get each each of uh, to be to be. each of them we God. were coming back in the middle black, of like if we had been working mm. in the mine yeah. it was unbelievable yes yes and the smell was oh, yes. potent but it was and lovely he was saying, come on come on we have to do this but it's a come conveyor on, belt on, between the two take the three of you to do just this floor yeah. months yes and as well there were different different pieces so we were having to try and have enough to do the border yes and then the inside because the border is mahogany and the inside is oak Amori designed it. We just had a pile of the stuff and, and he said, no, it should not be the same. If we put some mahogany around like and frame. we walk in the middle yes. as a mm. frame, it will stand out. Mm. And we did it all. But it's amazing to see what, mm. what you've done and what Amory did because somebody in the comments, I think very sensibly wrote recently, because you have such huge structural problems now above the Grand Salon, mm. you really do need someone who's not just a carpenter to do it. Yeah. You need yeah. a builder. Yes. yes. And I wanted to explain that no, he he is a builder. Oh, yes. 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 He yes. has protected these 16th century beams yes. in yes. place, building around them, right. underpinning, supporting. Mm. What, one of the examples is this window, for example. Beautiful window. He, he, he made that we kept the original beam in situ yes. and then recreated the frame, the double glazed frame, all on the outside. Yes. So the openings are hidden by the, it's the, the existing beams. Yes. It is ingenious. Yes. And he's created a home that's so comfortable and warm and yet retains mm. all of the charm that it's had yes. for several yes. hundred years. You have to have an eye for. Um, design. Mm. Mm. You have to have uh, the ability to build and the ability to create, and uh, mm. he has that. He's got that. He has that. Got that and very spark. often he, we were pondering, "Oh, shall we do this or it?" And then he comes with a third option, and I said, hmm, oh, "Actually, that would work <laughs> yeah. better." And I noticed that on the piano, you had a photo of Amory just at the height of his building game here. Absolutely. This is just him in the middle of the renovations, actually. Yeah. You can see, he's it, taking it is a total apprentice control. costume. <laughs> he still wears that outfit quite regularly, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yes, I saw that, so yes, at the recent Halloween party. <laughs> he was adorable, wasn't he? He still is, occasionally. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I was so down because it was one problem, you know, mm. after another. Mm. And let's let's be frank, a renovation like that costs an awful lot of money. Mm. And you can have a little pot and say, this is what I'm going to spend. But triple it. Yeah. You can. It's yeah. But and the time it as was well. always the one. No, we, we yeah. can see, we can. And yeah. It's, it's finished. It. <laughs> it's it. finished. Well, it was the same when we discovered the huge problems. I was low, wasn't I, Philip? I, mm. really, I had a low. You had a little and breakdown. Amory yeah. 
absolutely lifted me up. He's like, Steph, I can do this. I know this. I've done this. Well, it, it, I've done it, it, this all yeah. over this house. I can do it. It's I'm not a problem. Well. It takes time. We're going to lose time, mm -hmm. but it's totally doable and it will be stronger than it was before. And he completely buoyed me yes, up in the yes, way that yes, he did yes. you here. So yes. it, it has been hard work, but now we see it all done and it's it's lovely love it. it's a lovely feeling we love it. and of course i look around and i remember time you know when we did it for example oh, we, do you remember we were on the scaffolding painting and a little anecdote like that it is a happy place yeah yeah there's a picture of you somewhere on the scaffolding painting <laughs> the, the top of that apex in yes. there yeah. Christmas, it was two days before Christmas. Yes, yes, I was singing Christmas carols. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you find that Christmas generally is a huge boost to building? It is. Because it's always a deadline. Yes. You always have people yes. coming for Christmas. Yes. And you're like, yep. oh, if I can yes. just get this project finished for Christmas, if I can yes. just get that done for Christmas. And we did. So your family are going to be having Christmas here? Yes. yes. Whilst yeah. you're with us in France. I know. <laughs> we, we've stopped the fridge. They've got food. They've got things sweet and lots of food. <laughs> Yeah, and we've told them which is the best butcher to go to and everything, so they'll have a great time. And they have the heating, and you're coming to yes. the cold. Oh, yes. Don't know what Never you were thinking mind. about. Never mind. We'll just all cuddle up together. Exactly. Yes. In front of one of the new log it's, burners. It's, well, it's, that's right. right. No, I'm sure there must be an electric. We'll be yeah, yeah, there's electric blankets love. in every room. Yes. Spirit of totally. Christmas. Yes. And electric blankets. <laughs> and electric blankets. <laughs> and peated whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we take you along? Yes, we're going to see the other reception room. Yes. But this so, is definitely my favourite view inside the house, looking yes. down onto the entrance hall. Gives the, the entrance such a, a grandiose yeah, appeal, it's brilliant. doesn't it's it? It's absolutely brilliant. These beams cannot be moved. They're... The, the ancient original, and the, the original, original one, and they had to be worked. We had to work we, around them. We did. We we lowered the floor down there a little bit. Oh, brilliant! To, to give more height for the ceiling. Yes. Yeah. So we That's dug it. out. We dug the the floor down further than yes. it was, so this could be a little bit lower. Have you seen that amazing beam? Look at the age of that. It's like a tree, isn't it? It is. It? It yes. is. Where yes. They used Hume. to use. Yeah. Yes. It's used a tree. They used an adze, an old fashioned axe. And Amory cut this beam. This beam was very rotten. You can see the part the right oh, side yes. had to be renewed. And he spent a day cutting it down very slowly, very carefully, and then bolted things through. Then he made this big knuckle to hold this cross beam here. A bit like he's going to be doing in the Grand Salon. Yes. The first room we so, have is my little study. This is where I used to do all my work. I've got my paperwork, my books. You have the best sofa. You have the best sofa. I Look love, at this sofa. Yeah, I love my sofa. Very it's a good. Woodland watch sofa. Squirrels, <laughs> rabbit. This is a nice bit of squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. One day. Yes, yes, I love, love that. One, one day. day. <laughs> if ever it disappears, we know, yeah, you know. We know where to come looking. I'll come with a van next time. <laughs> yeah. So when you're busy working, Tati Nat, you're in your boudoir. Oh, yes, this is my French, which I call boudoir, which is a petit salon anyway, because everything reminds me of. Uh, of France. This is my great grandfather's desk, and a lot of the porcelain come from France as well. And I just feel a little bit like being in France. This is a French suite as well. This is the second best sofa in the house. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, then I, I love lounging there with a book and just looking outside the pond on the left and the field on the right. Of course, you can't see it now, but it is fields as far yes. as the eye can yes. see. It's, it's really stunning. And this room. Those two rooms with the, the, the snug underneath. Mm. This was completely down, derelict. Mm. But we managed to be able to recreate it because we found beams which, with the date. So the, um, the conservation people said, yes, you are entitled, you can rebuild yes. the, the two rooms which. Yes, so, so in fact, the footprint got bigger than you'd expected at the beginning. Which yes, was fantastic. because the planning yes. officers didn't want us to build. Yes. But uh, the uh, architectural heritage people from Cambridge came yes. up and said, no, 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 there was a building here. Yes. We could see the struts coming through. We could see the floor joists. And Go here, ahead. so we're so lucky. And this floor, in oh, exam, it's yeah, different come. than the other two yes. previous floor. In yeah. here, we had the border in oak and the middle in mahogany. But it took us as long as well to clean it <laughs> <laughs> and fit them yes. afterwards. Oh, the house was astronomical. I mean, every you were 
Beautiful porcelain, wonderful furniture, creating this warm environment, mm, a love of colour and yeah. fabrics, and especially love decorating for Christmas. A home is the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly yeah. overstuffed. Yes. Often. Where you can share Probably when you can. I love it. It feels comfy yeah. and yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to go through for dinner now because we've got an extremely early start in the morning. We're heading back to Lalanne, but we're stopping in Paris for Tatinette's birthday yes. on the way. And I will, of course, take you all with us. So keep going. <laughs> oh, yes. So tomorrow night in the Christmas Diaries, we will be in Paris. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this house. This is one of my happiest places in the whole world. And I'm Thank so excited you. to share it Thank with you. all of you. Lots and lots of love to all of you. And in the meantime, Merry, Merry Advent. Advent. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for seven tonight He climbed down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Ha <laughs> ha